What are we gonna do? Make sauerkraut. With what? Cabbage. Okay, go ahead and get your cabbage. All right, did you get it? With a little help from mommy. Okay, get your cabbage. All right, we gotta get our other one. Go ahead and cut it off. You can hold on to the cabbage while you're doing it. All right, we got it. Pick it up. Let's see your cabbage. Turn it around. All right, are we gonna go make some sauerkraut with it? Right. Okay, so this video is going to be the first of a series on fermented foods that I'm going to do for you, showing you how to get um, probiotics into your gut um, affordably, and the best way was by food rather than having to buy all the supplements. So we have, these are two cabbages from our garden, and the rest of them are from Whole Foods, all organic cabbages, and we have all our tools ready here. We have our harsh uh, 10 liter crock. I have my food processor and we have some stuff that we're going to beat it with and then these also go to the crock. So we're going to so get started. So we've got some of our cabbage all cut into pieces there and he's shredding it in the food processor. And we have our bowl ready to put it in. Mom. What? I okay, so here's their process. We've got him over there shredding the cabbage. And then when it gets full, you'll have to empty it several times. When it gets full, we dump it into here. And they're beating it. And we're trying to get the juices out of the cabbage. And it creates a brine. And we need enough brine that when it's in the crock, that it covers the weights that we put on top. Oh, so we need quite a bit of liquid. So if you don't have enough liquid, you also boil some water, and you can add that salty water. You're salting it anyway, so it'll be like a salty water. And we're just making a basic sauerkraut recipe, so this is not going to be anything fancy with dill or anything. We're just showing a basic recipe. So they're just beating it. What I've got is I took a hammer. I don't like saran wrap, but... We put the saran wrap on there so that our hammer doesn't get our sauerkraut dirty. What's up, bud? Get it out. Okay. Uh, okay, got him unstuck over there and he's still shredding. So, natural fermentation is one of the oldest um, known methods of uh, preserving food. Salt preserving. You can preserve your foods with salt, too, and in yeah. cellars. And this is how they used to preserve their cabbage. And they also saved uh, sailors from getting scurvy on, when they were on the boats because it's high in vitamin C. So he's still pounding away at the sauerkraut. Do we have any juice? Not much. We should be able to see the juice real good there. So. What happens when you take the, the cabbage and you put it in the crock, it ferments, and it's called lactic acid, um, the bacteria that ferments in the vegetables. So, our culture is kind of lacking any regular fermented foods that are eaten on a regular basis, so it's okay. <laughs> so, we need to be eating kefir and sauerkraut and all kinds of fermented foods on a regular basis, every day. The only thing I don't know how to make yet is um, kimchi. Oh, Hopefully, I'll learn in the I near want future. Like this, I want like this much. Sauerkraut? Uh huh. Okay. I want like this much. How's it coming? Is it full yet? I want like this much. Okay. So, when you ferment your foods, it makes it easy for your body to assimilate the nutrients. All right, he filled it up again, and we're still pounding away over here. Hey, He's the only one who wants to do it. I want it. No, you fill it up one more time, and then it'll be his turn. My turn? Yep. Oh. Oh. You want to do it. As soon as he fills it up, it'll be your turn. Yeah. Is sauerkraut good for you? Yeah. Is it good for your intestines?
science hasn't even begun to figure out everything that our gut controls. But they know that our gut has control over our moods, menopausal symptoms, our weight, likelihood of getting diseases. Oh crap, that's deep. Yes, honey. You're gonna get your, you have to wait for your turn, okay? I even read a study about um, formula-fed babies having, or children, having completely different ecosystems in their gut than those who are breastfed. So, there's a hole so that in shows this. you how... There's a hole in this, I think. In no, it's, right it's okay. I see, it's fine. Quit, I want to use And then one. you've Quit. got our toxic pesticides in our food, in our air. So our guts are more compromised than they've ever been in history. All right, he's pounding here, and we're adding some boiled water that's come that's cooled down to room temperature. You don't want to put the hot water in there. I like a lot of juice in my sauerkraut. Okay, try to scrape down the sides, honey. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and let's put another teaspoon of salt. Okay. So. For 11 to 17 pounds of cabbage, my recipe calls for 5 to 8 grams of salt. Okay, he pounded it, and we ended up putting 4 cups of the boiled and cooled down water in there. My recipe doesn't call for that much, but every time I've made it, I've had to add plenty of water. Maybe it's because I don't like dry sauerkraut. So here's our crock. It's a 10 liter crock. I'll put information down below where you can get one for yourself. It has a little water reservoir here, and then little holes in the side of the lid that allow the gases out, and the water keeps dust, bugs, anything that could possibly get in there, air, from getting in. And then here's inside the crock. And we're going to go ahead. I've cleaned the crock really well. It's really important when you're fermenting anything to keep to have all your containers, your dishes, everything that you use extremely clean. So I'm going to put, I lost my helpers, they got bored. Put this in here. And tape it. And then, we are going to put the lid on and put our water in our reservoir and then you need to wait four to six weeks. I like to wait as long as possible so that it can ferment and grow as much good probiotics as it possibly can. Okay, sauerkraut is all snug in its new home. You never want to fill the crock more than four-fifths full because it does need some room for the gases and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and put our weights in there. The weights are obviously in two pieces, so that they're easy to get in there. Weights are all also really clean. You can clean with um, yeah, it's melting. hydrogen peroxide. Um, just make sure you rinse it off really good, or just soapy water if you want. So you want to push your weights until the water is over the top of them. See, you would not have that amount of water if you didn't add water. So now. I'm going to add my lid and I'm going to fill up my reservoir. Now I'm going to keep this in my warm kitchen for a few days until I start hear hearing bubbles come out of it. Alright, see my reservoir is nice and full. I've got the little hole is right there and it's covered. So when I start, start hearing bubbles then I can move it to a cool place. My cool place that I keep it is in my closet. So when we're all done, we will have sauerkraut. All right, so there we go. You can make yourself some good probiotics and some, it's also an antidepressant. There's um, acetylcholine in there, which is a known uh, antidepressant. So go ahead and make yourself some sauerkraut. You might even like the flavor once you make it too, like we do. There you go, see you next time. Mm -hmm.